confused here. Number 44 is usually worn by Aleph. I wonder whether that's a graphic mistake by our host broadcaster because Aleph wears off the bench. Kevin Duramram and in terms of Asian and enjoying the upcoming transfer window well actually I say no Felipe he is there I do apologize on my initial team sheet he wasn't there so Felipe going anywhere we'll get to the bottom of that Felipe usually wears number seven I think that's an only one goal really Supamburi members of staff he's not been coached all the way through but a seven-year stint at the god-fearing Nigerian four three two and we are set for kickoff after a three-week break, full match slates of Toyota Tiley T1 are with us in the title up against Supambori, who for them are having a rare foray at the top table. And lurking also is Gosu Q, and it was half a chance, and it's not cleared yet! And after a very good delivery. Very good delivery. Keep an eye out for Sergio Suarez and keep an eye out as well for the man that got the final touch on this it was more than half an opening for Port uh, Port coming again through the middle Supampuri yet to really settle here missing attack but that ball had too much on it they'll get it back to Patrick Data the Filipino in the Supampuri goal but the clearance isn't good again here there's a chance for Borden to make something happen he's usually so good running at defenders with ball at feet that he's on didn't see anything wrong with that challenge from Borden as we continue, unfortunately, to suffer from picture breakup. We... Let's have a see of this finish. I was a wonderful header. See this finish. I was a wonderful header. Better of it early, and as we stream to try and get our pictures back behind BG Patum. So just worry. Kazilec, Eliandro's looking for it. Kazilec waits for it. They get it to Eliandro. He twists and turns. But I think very interesting. The Supambori have got space to fashion across here for cream shirts in the middle and Eliandro has it taken off his head. Back into the area it goes to Kazidec. He squares it. Eliandro! And it's deflected with the game. It's taken half an hour to get one. Give them the lead. But it's deflected off Wallowit out for a corner. Four elephants that will come up with it after heroic defending from Wallowit. Eliandro. That five in the win against Police Terro. Pandecha's delivery. Are we about to see 1-1 one, one here? Mixed it up and Borden's is giving it straight away to Michok. It does well. Borden to win it. Sudden two on two. Now can they get the ball through to Adisak here? The answer is no. Borden in the FA Cup. Bangkok FC of T3. They beat them the week after. Do. Don't take the chance. Still Ram gets it to Borden. Look how deep Borden's dropped. He plays a dangerous looking pass that they get away with. Eliandro dropping deep, tries to beat one man, but goal here. They could really be in business. Sergio Suarez into the area. Is this for 2-0? Oh, it's just going to port, but they need a second goal here. Supambori is still dangerous. Just skew wide. Best chances in this game are coming. Lovely build-up play as they found space on the left. So disappointment of the PAT faithful. His shot just swerved of Patrick Dato's post. Have a look at this. Lovely work and technique to create the space. And it's Sergio Suarez cut inside. A much to this. Throwing quickly. I think Port fans, they can get a second goal here before half-time. It's played in by Dir Link up with Suarez and Adisak. For his first proper taste of Port, you can't count that appearance off the bench where he just we won't see him again Sergio Suarez now with his seventh his level with Heberty on seven goals for the season Sergio Suarez there and if the cameraman gets in focus you'll see that there was a right set too and they're two big men by the way the Spaniard having a bit of a set too Ham inside the final five minutes of the first half we go and India Sergio Suarez look at this Suarez and Aleph well I think Aleph Aleph oh Aleph squaring up to Suarez oh hello the Brazilian and the T1 back on's corner goes deep finds the man in the middle and again they've missed it was Warawit who's a big force up from the back for corners ducking and diving Sergio Suarez they put it back and they get a shot away at the end of this board in now board in they need to keep this score at only 1-0 going into half time that's a layoff that will reach a port player it's in back on with a cross and it's a good one Suarez unable to get a touch on it he can't last much longer playing like this as Diram Rand continues to run right down the left. Lovely square ball and has it from Sarawak's men in this first stanza with Diram absolutely electric but Borden has go with an opportunity for Borden right before half time. And our port going to come back to Ruthie's eight yards out with the goal at his mercy. 
And that was a, it's been a really impressive. The greatest of options from his bench. Ratchanet is an option. Weeks now. Shout out to our foreign language commentators. These pictures being available for you in dual language commentary as Etch is over to take the corner. Can they make this set piece count? Aleph will be the target. Oh, well, there he is just lurking. He's being picked up. And they've gone deep looking for Alejandro and his headers over the bar. Swirled that corner, didn't it? Didn't see too much wrong with that. The reference to Warawood in his attempt to get the header away. It's about to go to Q. Still boarding and still boarding. Can he get a shot away? This will be some goal. Just couldn't make it happen and nothing got a touch on that. Much to the relief of Patrick Dato. And ended up coming up into his arms ahead of Pacorn. But Subamba, we can get it away. This game's not over at 1-0. Keep saying it. Gordon to the edge of the area. Looks to try and switch play over to Sergio Suarez, who can control this, but loses momentum. Some pass back to Pacorn, whose cross is easily dealt with. And Subambori should be able to bring this away. And they sack, and he doesn't like that decision one bit. Suarez. Just got in each other's way there. And Isak ends up picking it up. And there'll be no free kick here. And they're going to get to this first. It's a conundrum for Dollar to deal with the Brazilian. Eliandro inside takes the tumble. And they'll only... And Dollar probably got the best outcome he could have hoped for there. It's good covering defending as well. Because they look to... Eliandro trying to thread the ball through to... Simon Con. Who has to be careful, remember, because he's on a yellow. So, another corner. They're actually with set piece count. All eyes on Aleph again. Corned the delivery, headed away by Port. And it might be a lot. Doesn't do it successfully. The other Eliandro gets the ball inside the penalty area. Has to come back outside. Eliandro. Adisak. Oh, he plays the ball ahead of him. Board in space. Just leaving Aleph. Non plus for a moment. It comes out to Sergio Suarez. Onkran has given that because there was a follow through that's left Sergio Suarez at agony on the dangerous. Pitch. He wasn't going to play advantage there as he ran with the left foot's an option. Option to Durham Ram. It will be Pack on off the crossbar and in smashed home by Adisak. Dollar wants a VAR check, and I think the referee is. There is one player in an offside position, but when the ball initially came in off the crossbar, he's on side. Given here, is he going to have a look? He's given the goal. VAR doing its job. Adisak with his fifth goal of the season and that should be enough to give the Lions the points now and they're going to start to react to that player was Adisek now is he offside here? I don't think he is well actually kick was taken was he offside? off the crossbar and was that a handball from Aleph as well with well, this plenty to breathing down the necks of the rabbits of BG Patoon well it's deemed in an onside position I think that came off Aleph's hand anyway. This run to perfection. And even though he may have looked offside after it came off Aleph, he was caught. Pack on looking for boarding and he's not got Aleph to beat this time. It's Wassa. He's positions, plays it inside. Alisek needs the pullback, gets the pullback to Suarez. And it comes to a poor man. They go down on the area and it's a penalty. Aleph came up and sent him over. It was a good decision. He's right there. The He would, of course, be on a hatch if he converts. I think he's saying that the knee of Alex is a 7-2 win against Ryong. He scored a penalty in the 2-1 win against P.T. Pratchett. And now he's scored a up against Supambori. Eight for the season for the Spaniard. And look behind, can do nothing about it. It's Port 3. Supambori marks the decision from Songkran. Because it would have been an easy one to miss the executed penalty. He sent Dato the wrong way. Full mark. Eight minutes between them going 2 0 up and 3 0 up against that. And he goes, the Salvadorian. Three port shirts in the box. Might come to Suarez. Dato does well to get there first with Rachanat. Rachanat again, just hopeful balls over the top. This one actually has found. He gets it to Kazadec. Kazadec now to Wassan. He'll get there first, but they've given it away again. Borden latches onto it. Comes out wide. And they try. Could be in business for number four. Could be in business for number four. Lovely back kill. Is this the fourth goal in here? 
may not have a goal yet in Port Colours, but that will go down as a tidy assist. Diram Ram, he's a real talent. Diram Ram and Borden, two of the most exciting players in Thai football at the moment. They got the ball inside, it was Penilla with a back flick, and look at that finish. Port have swept Subambori aside with utter emotion from Salawat, plenty of emotion from the fans, and what a goal out of the season, and a rich reward for the youngster. And who better against them now going for five?